Today we'll be showing you how to install DOSBox for Linux in order to play old DOS games. Hey guys, it's Joel here with Make Tech Easier. If you own copies of old DOS games like Doom, you can still play them on your PC with the help of an emulator. DOSBox is the best DOS emulator around. Most guides for DOSBox focus simply on installing the application and providing a couple of commands to get this going. However, this is likely to scare off new users, and there's a nasty surprise awaiting DOS veterans as well. In this video, this guide will not only cover how to install DOSBox for Linux, but also how to automatically mount your C drive. And for the newbies out there scared of DOS commands, I'll also be laying out a recommendation for a classic piece of software to help you along. Installing DOSBox is easy as it's in the repositories of almost every distribution and should be accessible under any package manager. If you prefer to install by command line, use this. Once installed, the program should be in your system menu or can be started by entering the following. Once inside DOSBox, it's easy to feel lost. Rather than launching a prompt at your C drive, DOSBox starts with its prompt at Z, DOSBox's internal virtual drive, with a recommendation on how to mount a new C drive manually. This will scare off new computer users as well as annoy DOS veterans who just want a prompt at their C drive ready and waiting. To get around this, you need to edit DOSBox's startup files. On a normal DOS installation, this would just involve editing autoexec.bat on the root of your C drive. However, DOSBox uses a local configuration file in a subdirectory of your home folder to organize its commands. To access this file, first enable hidden files and folders in your file manager, then open the .dosbox directory in your home folder. This is presuming you have run DOSBox at least once. If not, run it and close it. There should be a file called dosbox-0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0
If you would like to know more about DOS commands or where to find software, check out our in-depth guide on DOSBox for Mac. Well, that's it from me. As always, if you love tech as much as we do, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn the bell on, and you'll be notified by our latest and greatest tech savvy videos. See you next time.